2024 is a massive year for the cruising industry. We have spectacular new ships from almost every single major cruise line. We have the world's largest, tallest, widest, and most luxurious new cruise ships all coming out in the same year. And some of these are truly mind-blowing. So if you're ready to reimagine the future of traveling, let me give you an exclusive look at the top 5 best new cruise ships of 2024. Starting off in number 5, we have the gigantic MSC World America. At 22 floors, it will be the world's tallest cruise ship to ever set sail, and its onboard amenities match its grandiose and futuristic design. For one, the ship comes equipped with six pools, 14 hot tubs, and a massive water park featuring industry-first virtual reality-assisted slides. Just next door is a sports district with a roller skate arena that doubles as a bumper cars venue. The America also features two licensed Formula 1 simulators as well as a fully equipped gym with expansive ocean views. Moving to the aft of the ship, we find the Venom Drop, a crazy 11-story slide which will allow you to drop from Lido Deck pools to the promenade in mere seconds. The promenade is a beautiful open-air neighborhood with ocean views and tons of culinary treats. It also connects to the indoor atrium, which will feature some of the over 30 bars, lounges and restaurants on board. This will also be complemented by a massive LED screen on the ceiling, which will both set the mood and host daily animated shows. And while the America is a game changer of a ship for MSC Cruises, one beloved thing it doesn't change is the cruise line's renowned low prices. A one-week cruise on board starts at just $500 per person, which for a brand new, modern, high-tech flagship is a steal. In fourth place, we have Disney's magnificent Disney treasure, the sixth ship in the Disney fleet. Coming in with the traditional black and gold finish, the vessel is one of the most immaculately well-designed ships in the industry. Every corner is a nod to Disney's magical universe, allowing you to step into different realms with each turn you take on board. The ship is split into three neighborhoods, one exclusively for kids, another just for adults, and a third designed for the whole family to enjoy together. This means whether you're bringing along young adventurers or you're just young at heart yourself, the Disney treasure promises something special for everyone. And more than any other ship in its fleet, the Disney treasure aims to bring the magical thrills of Disney parks right onto the high seas. Whether you're splashing down the Aqua Mouse water slide, enjoying a culinary immersion into the Marvel Universe, or stepping into the eerie world of the Haunted Mansion, the Disney treasure promises to be more than just a regular cruise. Next up, we have Royal Caribbean's Utopia of the Seas, which will be the company's final ship in its iconic Oasis class, currently the largest and arguably the most successful and popular cruise ship class of all time. At 1,188 feet, this colossal vessel boasts eight diverse neighborhoods, from the vibrant energy of its top Lido decks to the tranquility of Central Park, a park with over 12,000 real plants, and from its active figure skating performances to its beautiful adults-only solarium, this ship will have something for you. The Utopia of the Seas represents the company's final tribute to the cruise ship class that revolutionized this industry. With its massive scale, incredible world-class entertainment, and the unique neighborhood concept. And when it will set sail, the vessel will be the second largest cruise ship in the world, second to only one other revolutionary ship still coming up in this list. The Utopia will embark on three and four night extended weekend cruises from Miami to Royal Caribbean's private island, Perfect Day at Coco Cay, in what the company markets as the world's best weekend getaway. Moving on, in second place, we have Princess Cruises' Sun Princess, the first in their innovative sphere class. And while this state-of-the-art ship is 21% larger than its counterparts, it also has the highest space-to-passenger ratio of any ship in the Princess Cruises fleet. The Sun Princess fills all that extra space with spectacularly expansive luxury features. Behold, for instance, the Dome, a stunning glass enclosed area transforming from a sunlit pool by day to a starlit stage by night, featuring breathtaking acrobatic performances in partnership with a world renowned circus. Dining on the Sun Princess is an elevated affair, literally 
with a three-story dining room with each floor offering unique multi-course meals included in your fare. Lastly, Princess Cruises also fully reimagined its outdoor promenades, adding more infinity pools and bringing you closer to the ocean. Before moving on to the truly exciting number one, let's first take a look at some honorable mentions. The historic Cunard Line, which is over 180 years old, is launching its first ship in over 14 years, the elegant Queen Anne. The vessel promises to upkeep the company's blend of tradition and modern luxury and pays homage to the company's impressive history. Virgin Voyages keeps expanding and adds a fourth adults-only ship to its fleet. If you're looking to get away from the hustle and bustle of family-friendly cruises, the brilliant lady might be the ship for you. Lastly, we have the Explorer 2, the second ship of a brand new ultra-luxury brand, Explorer Journeys. The sweet only vessel will bring you and up to 900 other guests to some of the most remote places on Earth, all in refined elegance. And now, what you've all been waiting for, in number one, the best new cruise ship setting sail in 2024, the world's new largest cruise ship class, and the most anticipated new ship of the decade, Royal Caribbean's iconic icon of the seas. This ship is truly extraordinary. It comes in at 250,000 gross tons, making it nearly 10% larger than the current largest cruise ship class while also reducing the number of passengers on board. And as you can imagine, it is overflowing with things to do. The ship is divided into eight unique neighborhoods, including Thrill Island, the adventure seeker's dream. It features category six, the largest water park at sea with six record breaking slides. Crown's Edge, which is part skywalk, part ropes course, on which passengers swing 154 feet above the ocean, a Flowrider surfing simulator, an 18-hole mini golf course, and so much more. Just next door is another new neighborhood, the Hideaway, a beach club with the first suspended infinity pool on a ship with 180 degree views of the ocean. Moving forward, we have Chill Island, the main Lido area, which is now three decks high with more pools bars and spaces to relax than ever before. At the very front top of the ship, we have the super exciting Aqua Dome District, an engineering marvel in and of itself. The Aqua Dome has an enormous glass ceiling, which provides beautiful ocean views during the day and transforms to a show arena with robots, divers and waterfalls at night. But that's just one of the three main entertainment venues on board. The Icon of the Seas also has a stunning ice ring with figure skaters and its main theater, which for the first time ever has a full 15-piece orchestra, as well as holograms, drones, and more high-tech features for its Broadway-style shows. Just next door is the fully redesigned Royal Promenade, a two-story atrium with floor-to-ceiling windows, and a grandiose entrance named The Pearl, which is also the world's largest kinetic art sculpture. The ship also has an even larger central park than the Oasis class and Surfside, a neighborhood exclusively for young families. Icon of the Sea's combination of all those onboard amenities truly make it one of the most exciting new cruise ships of this decade. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing to help us reach our 70,000 subscriber goal for this year. It really helps us out. And as always, keep cruising.